morning. Um, as you well know, I've been talking a lot about uh, Psalm 91 and what it means in our day and age uh, in plain English. Uh, it means that we are not going to taste death because a transformation, a change has occurred to the human body. But they are the ones that are ready. They are absolutely 100-fold ready. The blessed hope is the rapture. They are the ones that are going to be left standing. Why? Those are the wise virgins. Why? Because they were sleeping. They were asleep. They have to come. They have to be awakened to, to, to make it to the rapture. Because even though they're sleeping, they still have um, their lamps lit, but they still have to be trimmed to let the whole light in. So for them, it's the blessed hope. The transformation, the massive change, the transformation, these people are 100% 100 fold ready they're waiting they're ready the five wise virgins are sleeping and they're going to be left standing because remember it says there are some that will be standing that will not taste of death but the ones that are left standing will have the blessed hope to look out to look up to which is the rapture and the second coming is when Jesus Christ comes with his transformed ones and the people that were raptured he's coming back with all of us he's going to come back as the king of kings and lord of lords and he's coming to fight and abolish the Antichrist. How with a sword? How with his presence of the light? With his sword is what he's going to speak. And his massive light. So I'm going to be in Titus uh, 2. Titus 2. 11. 12 and 13 for the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared has appeared teaching us that the that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world these people are still struggling with worldly things they're still struggling it says looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming with all his glory. Once the people who are ready are transformed, they are going to help the people, the wise virgins, to be ready. To be ready. For the second coming of Jesus Christ, King of Kings, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people of zealous of good works. I think we have sort of missed it a little bit somewhere along the line we have been lied to 
there is a transformation. Moses went up to mount to the mount to the mountain, and he was with Jesus. He was with Father God as the all-consuming fire, and he was transformed. He was transformed into the brightness like sunlight in his face, his hair, his clothing. Moses was transformed. He was changed. But the blessed hope, the wise virgins are still asleep. They are the ones that are left standing. They are left behind. Okay? So... This is what it is, the transfer. Remember, Jesus took three of his disciples away from everyone, away from all the other uh, disciples. There were 12 of them. He only took three of them to see him in his transfiguration, in his transformation, in his glory of who he really was. So not everybody's going to receive the transformation, the change. But the blessed hope is for the wise virgins that were asleep, that will be left standing, they will be left behind. For them, the blessed hope is that they are going to be raptured. And then Jesus Christ comes in all his glory, in all his power, with his crown, which is all of us come with him to end the Antichrist. Okay? So I'll talk to you later. I love you. If you have any, bring it to Father God and ask the Holy Spirit. And I'll talk to you later.